Okay, guys, welcome back. This is going to be a pretty quick and uh, sort of short to the point video. And I, I want to talk about something that I saw earlier today and I was absolutely floored by. So if you guys know that the Cybertruck's going to bring its A game to the market, it's going to revolutionize things, change how electric trucks are viewed, I, I want you to let me know right now. Because when it comes down to trucks, a lot of what people look at is reliability, durability, you know, relatively inexpensive to own and operate. And yeah, I know some trucks recently have become like exorbitantly expensive. Uh, the GMC Hummer EV... Uh, is one of them, right? It's, it's got a very, very hefty price tag. And I'm going to be honest with you, okay? A lot of people are already worried about maintenance costs for their vehicles right now. It's part of the reason why electric vehicles have become, you know, pretty popular, right? Obviously, vehicles are, are scarce. Uh, fuel is expensive. It's super expensive. Electric vehicles are really pretty low on maintenance. Maintenance costs tend not to be very high. Fuel costs, obviously, you got to pay for electricity. Everything else is, is generally a lot cheaper. And I want to say that right now, when it comes right down to it, People are freaked out by, by prices, okay? Just generally speaking. Now, apparently, apparently somebody had to pay over $4,000 for a part for a taillight of the GMC Hummer EV. Now, this is according to uh, Inside EVs. I'm looking at this right now. And also, apparently, it was according to uh, an, a Hummer EV owner, uh, a Facebook post. And the drive originally found this, okay, that apparently $4,040 was the quote for the taillight replacement. Now, you guys are probably familiar with replacing taillights to a certain extent, right? Even if you haven't had to replace a taillight in a while uh, or a headlight, I will say bulbs have become a lot more effective, a lot more efficient than they used to be. Uh, they burn out far less frequently than they even did 10, 15 years ago. Um, you will know that replacing a taillight is, is pretty easy. Now, here's the thing. The Hummer EV is a vehicle that is, is really trying to push the envelope on technology, right? Let's see if we can find this really quick. Hummer EV tail light. Let's, let's take a look at this. Um, yeah, here we go. Car and driver talking about this as well. Uh, car scoops, GMC Hummer EVs, taillights priced at over $6,000 a pair, uh, over $3,000 each. Now, it does look like these are specialty LED taillights. We've also heard that there could be a recall. Let's look at this from Inside EVs on March 18th, 2022. Uh, article titled, uh, 2022 GMC Hummer EV sees first recall for taillight malfunction. Well, there you go, okay? Here's the thing. If this is an issue, and it really should not be for a vehicle of this caliber, this price point, okay, um, it, it really should be actually pretty accessible, or I think they should do it for free right now. Um, I think that with a vehicle this new, especially a new design, it's not a bad idea to just go ahead and say, hey, we, we appreciate you sticking with us. Okay, we'll replace that for you. No worries. Don't worry about it. And... Uh, the, the, the Hummer EV is already expensive. It's really ex ex expensive. Okay, so if we're looking at the Hummer EV and we're going to see that that the lights are like another huge price tag, well, it's going to make people look at this and they're going to go, you know, okay, well, what else might I have to replace? You know, as a vehicle owner, you're going to think about that immediately, okay, because believe it or not, that does matter. Now, um, in terms of real real applicability for the general truck segment. Um, this sort of fits into trucks as they exist right now. And it, it really predominantly fits into the category of a very, very expensive vehicle that is essentially like a luxury focused kind of SUV that also has a bed in the back. Okay. It's got a, it's got a, a bed where you can put stuff. And that's pretty much how I view a lot of these super expensive trucks. Um, yeah, are they technically trucks? Yes, they are. But really, we know that uh, that that this is in a price point where a lot of people are probably not going to be using it for, you know, maybe their carpentry job or or working as an electrician. Now, you know, a lot of electricians use vans anyway because they kind of make more sense. But uh, I digress. Um, and the price tag is is just huge. Okay, so so when I look at this and when I look at this replacement, I I immediately think that's a victory 
for Tesla. Now, you might think, well, why? Why is that a victory for Tesla, right? How are we making the connection here? Well, again, we've got to realize that the Cybertruck, right, the, the, the all-important Cybertruck is not far off, okay? And that is something I, I want to go ahead and emphasize in a big way right now. The Cybertruck is not very distant. Uh, it's still being worked on. Obviously, it's going to take a while to get all of that ready to go. But ultimately, when it comes down to it, um, the core focus of the Cybertruck in particular is, is extreme durability, right? And extreme convenience in terms of replacing parts, in terms of fixing things on the truck. And uh, you're also looking at Tesla's extensive experience with, uh, with electric vehicles, right? And building electric vehicles. Uh, you know, they, they've done great with introducing new electric vehicle models to the market, and they've gotten better over time. Uh, I will say that the the launch of the Model Y, um, probably the strongest launch I've, I've ever seen from Tesla, okay? And I, I really think that with the manufacturing looking how it is, I think the Cybertruck's going to look the same way, okay? And I, I don't think that's weird to think about. I think that what we're going to see... <coughs> Man, okay, hold on a second. Let me take a quick drink. Sometimes my throat gets a little tired. But anyway, what we're going to see <clears throat> is we're going to see a truck that is really focused on hyper durability, right? And hyper functionality. We're going to see a truck that's got a good sized bed and a good sized cabin built out of stainless steel, right? Obviously, to really pack a punch in terms of durability. And with Tesla's understanding of software, and Tesla's just general expertise when it comes down to building electric vehicles that work well uh, with the experience they already have, it's going to be something where I think we really see it becoming a, a highly sought after vehicle in terms of durability, right? I mean, it, it reminds me to a certain extent of uh, the Toyota Tacoma. And um, by the way, I just watched uh, Donut Media's uh, videos on the Toyota Tacoma series. They did the high car or high truck versus low truck. Um, it's a really fun premise, and uh, those those vehicles are built extremely well. But the Cybertruck's going to bring it to a whole new level, right? Now, I think the Cybertruck's going to be a vehicle where people look at it and they go, that's durable. That's built to, to really withstand the test of time. That's going to get me there. It's going to get the job done. It's going to help me out, and that's that's huge, okay? That's really huge. So, you know, with what we've seen so far, you know, the fast lane truck, TFL, um, they, they I think, had some sort of concern with, uh, with the, the GMC Hummer EV. Um, we're hearing about taillight concerns now, and uh, I think GMC's got to step in there, and they've got to correct these things really quickly because they could have some concerns if, if they don't. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think about that right now. Hey, drop it a like if you like it. Subscribe, share with your friends. Have a great one, guys. Adios.